Influenza is a, an infection that comes every year. It's been around for many, many years. Um, some years the strains are more um, virulent or stronger than other years. But it's an illness that causes fever and cough, um, muscle aches. Um, generally, people can feel really ill. And if you compare it to uh, a cold, which is um, caused by other kinds of viruses, so rhinovirus are um, the group of viruses most commonly that cause cold, um, you don't get as ill with a cold. So you can have a runny nose, you can have a sore throat, which typically you would not see with influenza. Um, you don't get the degree of muscle aches um, that you would in a cold as you would with influenza. Influenza is a viral infection um, that causes fever, muscle aches, um, cough, and people can get quite ill from it. People, especially um, high-risk groups, and those would be uh, in children under the age of two or people over the age of 50, especially people over the age of 65, those are groups um, that are at higher risk for complications. Influenza is caused by a specific virus, the influenza A or B viruses, and there are different strains. And colds are caused by a different kind of virus. In general, people don't get as sick from the cold as they do from influenza. Um, usually with a cold, you can see a sore throat, runny nose, um, People can still feel run down, but they don't typically have the really severe muscle aches and the terrible cough um, and the high fever that you would with influenza. Um, and usually people get over the cold faster and more reliably versus influenza where um, some of the high risk populations mm -hmm. can especially get very sick. Anybody can get secondary infections, pneumonias from influenza, but there's certain groups uh, for example, people who are immunocompromised or who have asthma who are at higher risk for those complications of pneumonia and respiratory uh, failure. So what are the benefits of the flu shot and when is the right time to get uh, the flu shot? The simple answer is whenever it's available. So um, I think that there's some people who try to predict, well, this is when the peak of the season will be, and so this is when I should get vaccinated. But really what I recommend is as soon as you're able to get the uh, vaccine, go ahead and get it because we don't know how predictable it will be. We don't know when it will be most active. It does take several weeks. Um, it can take up to two to six weeks for um, a person to develop the full immunity to the vaccine and be um, safe against the uh, influenza viruses. So I suggest whenever it's available, whether it's at the end of September or October or November. And um, similarly, there's no late time to get it. So if you have not been able to get it for whatever reason, I still encourage people to get the vaccine, even if it's March, April, May, because it can still prevent um, some uh, influenza infections. Well, there are a number of changes and recommendations for the flu shot, as there are every year. Um, this year, all the influenza vaccines, they're all injectable vaccines. Um, there is one that is a actually that can come in a needleless system, so it's a high jet um, injector, uh, but all the other ones are actually injectable. So the flu mist is not recommended this year, um, and that includes children and um, uh, adults. So this year, they're all injectable forms, and there's a number of different kinds, and there's no preference to one uh, version versus the other. Different companies make different kinds, and they're chosen for different reasons. Um, all of them have at least two influenza A uh, strains and one influenza B strain. There's also a quadrivalent uh, vaccine, which has two influenza A strains and two influenza B strains. Um, again, there is no preference, so I recommend wherever you can get the flu shot, get it uh, and get it as quickly as you can so that it can start having its um, protective effect. How can we prevent ourselves from getting influenza? Because no vaccine is 100%.
So um, you don't completely protect yourself by taking the influenza vaccine. Um, you want to take other precautions as well. We're going into the fall and winter season. And so we know that people are going to be indoors. They're going to be around each other. Um, people are going to have infections. And so hand washing is always very, very important. Frequent hand washing to prevent uh, viral infections. And if you do have any kind of infection, whether it's influenza or some other upper respiratory infection, stay home, get over it. You will, you will recover faster if you get rest and, and do the fluids. Um, so stay at home so that you don't infect other people and that you can recover quickly. And then if you do have influenza and um, you think that you have influenza, for example, you have high fever, joint aches, cough, um, especially if you are in a high risk group. So if you're immunocompromised, you've had a transplant, uh, you're on chemotherapy, you have HIV uh, or any other um, illness. If, if kids are under the age of two or uh, adults over the age of 65, especially people with asthma, these are all high-risk um, groups, meaning they can really get sick with influenza.